Keep your heads up, beautiful family. I'm about to walk you through the signs in the sun, the moon, and the stars. On September 19th, 2023, when the woman is clothed with the sun and the moon is under her feet. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. And God said, Let there be lights in the firmament of the heaven to divide the day from the night, and let them be for signs, and for seasons, and for days and years. And Jesus Christ himself said, and there shall be signs in the sun and in the moon and in the stars and upon the earth distress of nations with perplexity, the sea and the waves roaring. And I've been tracking Yeshua for a very long time. All glory to our Father in the name above all names, Jesus Christ. And I've been over it. Yeshua and Yahua combined would make Yeshua. And Yeshua is right down by the woman's feet, by the moon. When the woman is clothed with the sun and the moon is under her feet. And that only happens one day out of the year, family. And most of you know about the star Spica. It represents the wheat. And some of these are very clear, like Israel. And Seraphina means Seraphim, the highest ranking angels. And Hebe means Hebrew, Jew. And you know Rebecca. And you know Jacob, and it's Jacoby. And when you search what's the meaning of Jacoby, it means Jacob. And you know Laban, and you know Leah. And biblically, Marie means beloved and has Hebrew origins, being derived from Miriam, which comes from Mer, meaning beloved. And Miriam means rebellious and wished for child. And in Latin, it means Mary. And you know Levi. And you know Saul that became the Apostle Paul. And before that was King Saul. And I'm not making any predictions. I'm showing you the signs right where our father put them. On 919, when they're having the seven-year covenant with many. Agenda 2030. And only our father knows, but it looks like he's telling us that he's coming back with us in 2030 to set up his kingdom. And remember, Saul was crowned king when he was 30. And you know the young shepherd boy, David, he was also crowned king when he was 30. And if the seven-year tribulation starts this year, we will be coming back in 2030 with Jesus Christ in the new Jerusalem. And crown means diadem, crown. And you know King Solomon, and you know Jeremiah, and you know Miriam, wished for a child, and you know Aaron, and Elias is Elijah. And you know what saga means, and when you look up the meaning of saga, it means a long, involved story, account, or series of incidents, and it says the saga of her engagement. And you know Caspari was one of the wise men that followed the star of Bethlehem, that led them to baby Jesus Christ. And that star they followed was in the east. And we've been watching what they call Venus all year in the west in conjunction. But now it rose up in the east. I seen it this morning. And I also took pictures. And Jupiter is with the moon now. And we should be seeing the comet Nishimura anytime with our own eyes. Revelation chapter 12, verse 2, And she being with child, cried in pain to be delivered. And Annette means Anna. And Anna prophesied that Jesus Christ was the Messiah, the Savior of the world. And Paloma means dove. And Matthias is Matthew. And Alku means start, beginning, inception. And you know Herodias. And on September 15th, right when the child goes past the line, Herodias is on the woman's neck. And you know Galilee. And you know that hallowed be thy name. And you know Dinah was Jacob and Leah's daughter. And Davis, the meaning of Davis is the son of David. Lilium means lily. And wood is what they crucified our Savior on. And Orcus means birth. And it also means orchid. And they say the spots on orchids represent the blood of Jesus Christ. And you know Didymos in Hebrew, it means Thomas, 
one of the apostles, doubting Thomas. And this star, what they call asteroid, minor planet, supposedly is the only star that they've ever crashed into and changed its course. And it just happens to be in the Revelation 12 sign, right in the mix. And Stephanian means Stephen, the first martyr after Jesus Christ. And Rhoda means rose. And in the Bible, roses are a symbol of love. And remember, Jesus Christ, the rose of Sharon. And Lydia was famous for her purple dye. And Johnny means John. And Vera means faith. And Iras means be watchful. And Pele means wonder. Like there appeared a great wonder in heaven. And you know who Francis is. And you know who 666 is. And you know what the United Nations is doing and about. And Arequipa means the city behind the summit. And I'm working on a picture with all the comets. There's a lot more. And Gale means Wormwood. And it was discovered on 811. 70 years before this comet Nishimura was discovered on 811. And the comet goes straight into this star, Gale, named Wormwood. On September 26th. And hopefully we're in heaven by then. But again... I'm not predicting any date of the rapture. I'm showing you the signs on September 19th, the Revelation 12 sign. And Love Day speaks for itself. But this one is gigantinormous and has two meanings. One is someone who presides over bringing children home safely. And the other meaning is born on Tuesday. And Yoakum means Yah makes to stand still. And Terry, and Terry actually means ruler, mighty one, powerful one. And biblically it means to wait or to abide or stay in or at a place. And this one's off the charts. And it's Rembrandt. And when you do a search on Rembrandt, it says the return of the prodigal son by Rembrandt depicts the moment of the prodigal son's return to his father. And all glory to our father in the name above every name, Jesus Christ. There's so much more that he's showing us. And it's a high possibility that the Feast of Trumpets will end on the 19th, the same day as the sign. And the same day as the covenant with many at the summit at the United Nations. In all glory to our Father, in the name above every name, Jesus Christ, he has a gigantinormous surprise for you that I think you'll be very happy with. So be on the lookout for the next video. I love you, family. God bless everyone.